Hi, good morning. Good morning. You hey, welcome to our morning routine, and today we're going to be praying for God to give us unwavering faith. As we read from the book of Second King, chapter four, verse sixteen to twenty, twenty-six, thirty-six, and thirty-seven. And he said, About this season, according to the time of life, thou shalt embrace a son. And she said, Nay, my lord, thou man of God, do not lie unto thine handmaid. And the woman conceived, and bare a son at that season, that Elisha had said unto her according to the time of life. And when the child was grown, it fell on a day, that he went out to his father to the reapers and he said unto his father my head my head and he said to a lad carry him to his mother and when he had taken him and brought him to his mother he sat on her knees till noon and then died verse 26 run now i pray thee to meet her and say unto her is it well with thee is it well with thy husband? Is it well with the child? And she answered, It is well. Verse 36 And he called Gehazi and said, Call this Shunammite. So he called her. And when she was coming unto him, he said, Take off thy son. Verse 37 Then she went in and fell at his feet and bowed herself to the ground and took up her son. And went out. Praise the Lord. Today we are still going through the series of faith. And uh, this morning I just want us to understand that faith is absolutely trusting God's love in our life, regardless of the circumstances we find ourselves. We define faith yesterday, we said it's the assurance of things hoped for, evidence of things not seen. So faith is trusting God without any tangible proof. And we, I see faith as a, a heavenly currency. You know, if you have money, you can buy some certain things. But now, Though money cannot buy any, everything, but I still believe that money can buy most things. Now, faith can buy all things now. I see faith as, you know, earthly, you know, earthly substance that we can use to buy everything in heaven. So it's a currency. So as a believer, if you don't have faith, you are just like maybe a fisherman that goes to fish and at the end comes back with nothing all the time. Or you're just like a lawyer that keep bearing titles but has never won any case in his or her life. Faith is one of those things that we as believers should try to develop in our lives. I want us to look at the story of the Shunanite woman and Elisha. The Bible said that Elisha usually visit her. That's the focus of our prayer. Uh, the focus is actually the fact that she did not even believe initially when Elisha told her, if you read verse 16, that she's going to conceive. She did not believe. But now, when she eventually conceived and gave birth to this son, she knew that there is indeed a true God. She knew that there is indeed a God that can be trusted. And at that point, when the child died, she has built up her faith because she saw how powerful God was in her past situation she saw how powerful and loving that our god was in her past situation most of us have fought some battles 
God give us victory. Like this woman, I want you this morning to go back to that same battle that God won for you. That same battle that you were in and you never know that you never knew that something will happen out of it. And yet God saw face and resolve it. That same situation, problem, challenges you find yourself in the past. And there was no hope for you. But yet, you saw God in action. He appeared and that thing was resolved. Confess like this same uh, Shunanite woman this morning. The Bible said that Gehazi asked her, Is everything well with your husband? And she said, it is well. Is it well with you? She said, it is well. Is it well with your son, the son that is dead? And the woman still said, it is well. She did not look at the situation or the circumstances. She was not looking at anything that surrounds her at that moment. She focused on God. That God that does not change. That God that does not slumber. That God that will never change. And as such this morning, I will want us to pray that God will give us the power to trust him. The ability to trust him without shaking. That God will give us that unshakable, you know, faith. He will grant it to us. That we will be able to trust him with all, irrespective of the situation surrounding us, irrespective of the challenges that surrounds us. Just begin to ask the Lord, Father, give me the grace to trust you. The grace to trust you. In the situation I am today, I want grace, Lord. I ask for your grace to trust you even more in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. If you look at this woman, she was persistent. So I want you to ask the Lord, help me not to give up in the means of situation. Give, up not to, give me grace not to fail. Let me be persistent, oh God. Let me not give up when the situation is becoming tough. Is it well with you? She says it's well. Is it well with your son? It is well. Your family? It is well. Is it well with even that worst situation that you are swimming inside? You say it is well. Tell the person it is well. And you will see God in action. In that situation, just tell the Lord, give me the grace to be consistent in the mighty name of Jesus. The grace not to fear when situations surface. The grace not to give up when situations become very tough. The grace to draw from your words and become stable not shaking when things become tough in life the grace to draw from other people's experience other people's testimony and become stable and trust you more when situations surface in my life you know those situations will always come problems will always surface Things will always come on your, in your way as you journey in life that you will feel like giving up. But I want you this morning to stand like this woman and say in the midst of every situation that it is well. That even in the midst of that sickness, you can still say it is well. Even in the midst of that failure, you can still declare that it is well. Even in the midst of that stagnation, you can still say it is well. And it, is, it will be well with your soul. It will be well with your life. It will be well with your family. In the name of Jesus. That triumphant faith is what I want us to develop 
this moment, during this time, in the mighty name of Jesus. A faith that grows. You could see in this woman that her faith has grown more than her situation, more than her challenges. Initially, she was shaken. But at this point, she was stable. So tell the Lord to give you a stable faith. A faith that is not moving because of, you know, because of challenges. A faith that does not give up. A faith that will always say, I trust in my God. And I believe in Him. And I hope in Him. Unmovable faith. That is the kind of faith I want you to ask God this morning. And as we do that, I believe that our God is going to grant us this faith. So that we will be unshaken in every situation. So that nothing will move us. Nothing will cause us to worry. Because he has warned us in his words. He has told us in his words. That if we worry, we will not get anything from him. So even in the midst of that challenge, we are asking him to give us that grace, to build up a faith that will supersede every challenge. That we would say it is well, even when things are going worst. In the mighty name of Jesus. I just wanted to thank God this morning for giving you a vibrant faith. In the mighty name of Jesus. The grace to give you a steadfast faith. Steadfast. In the mighty name of Jesus. The grace for that consistent faith. Persistent faith. Unwavering faith. Just tell him, thank you Lord. Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus name. We have prayed. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. We want to appreciate you for another privilege of calling on your name today. You say we should call on you and you will answer us. You will show us great and mighty things which we do not know. We thank you for the privilege of calling on you this morning. Father, may your name be praised in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, Lord, as we have sought you this morning, we pray you give us an unwavering faith in Jesus' name. Amen. In the midst of troubles, in the midst of trials, in the midst of hard times, give us the grace to look back at what things you have done for us in the past and to draw strength from your faithfulness in the past in Jesus' name. Amen. Help us to look back and see how great you have done for us in the past. And tell ourselves that if you can do it before, you can do it again. Amen. Give us the grace in Jesus' name. Amen. To look unto you and not unto our challenges in Jesus' name. Amen. Give us the grace to have faith in you in the name of Jesus. Amen. In, the, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.